SCP-2678 is a city all of blood. Now, the, the thumbnail today has a priest on it. And if it's even remotely kind of scary or have to do with like church lore and evil versus the whole religious thing, I love stuff like that. Like that's some of my favorite kind of horror movies because it's some of those things that you really just don't know if it could be possible, right? So it lends itself to some of the traditional horror, the concepts. Anyway, I love these type of SCPs and I really love Dr. Bob's animation. So we're going to react to it today, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Dr. Bob. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos and let's get into this one. The single piercing high pitched note echoes through the cathedral. It's it turkey. hangs in the air as the boy sustains it for far longer than his small lungs should be capable of. Uh -huh. The boy is the star of the choir and is well known throughout the city and of, even uh, beyond. And people come from far and wide for the chance to hear his perfect soprano voice. When I was in school. But on this night, there are only a few people scattered amongst the many rows of pews to listen to the choir as it practices. Mm -hmm. And for good reason. While the boy's lauded voice is as sweet and powerful sounding as ever, the choir itself is at its lowest point in recent memory. Why? This nadir has occurred because many of the other boys who used to sing in the choir have, have gone vanished. missing? Wow. The choir finishes its song, that's all for tonight. And the boys begin to put on their coats and gather their things from underneath their chairs. Sure. The boy with the perfect voice feels something on his shoulder and spins around with a fright. Somebody from the church? That it is just the hand of the priest, oh. who is also the conductor of the choir. Right. The priest is an old man with a deeply wrinkled yet kind face. Yeah. And he reminds the boy that he is to head straight home. The boy promises the priest that I he will go directly in, uh, to his house. I went to Catholic the priest school reassuringly pats up. the boy on the shoulder and I grew before up walking away to give the same advice to each of the other boys. Sure. The boy steps out into the dark. You would cold think if some of them were going the missing, though, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a little bit. It's softly a little bit more secure, right? Pulls his coat shut to try to keep out the damp. It was and like cold. three of them missing. As the boy begins to walk, huh? he takes note of the closed newsstand across the street. Right. The day's papers the are still hanging outside, and tell of yet another boy who has gone missing. Mm. This one from Gosh. the next town over. There are still no leads in the case. Yeah, my kid would be on a leash, angry bro. with the police over the lack of <laughs> any progress. Sorry, exactly. As the boy walks down she the street, she wouldn't be sitting of walking he home to notice the at night in the rain. Has stepped out of a dark alley you near see? the cathedral, but soon he hears the sound of feet on the wet sidewalk. You gotta get an Uber, him. bro. Something. He glances over his shoulder and sees that the figure is walking the same direction as him. Mm -hmm. The boy looks back straight ahead, not wanting to draw any more attention to himself, and tries to increase his pace. As the boy walks, his well-trained ears quickly detect that whoever is walking behind him is has gaining on him. As well. mm -hmm. The boy doesn't run, but he feels a surge of real fear begin to rise. You just gotta of find him. people. The boy picks up his pace even more. See, and why again, wouldn't you worry about running? Behind him increased. Theirs. Why wouldn't you run? A lot of people are like, I'm not gonna so run. Fast now. Why not? <laughs> and if you went any faster, he'd have to break into a well, run. Why not? What you gonna do? Embarrass his yourself? His house is though. He turns a corner and he can see it. A quaint little home with warm light pouring out through the windows. He knows that inside his Thank mother will goodness. be standing in the kitchen cooking dinner. What are they getting he close? He knows that inside is protection from the night and Start shadows. Start yelling! The boy looks behind him and sees the figure round the same corner. Right. The boy can't wait any longer and he starts to run. There you go. And he sees over his shoulder that the figure has begun to run as well. Yes. The boy is sprinting as fast as he Do can. Do it! His feet go, baby, go! From the sidewalk. He can hear the figure getting closer and closer to him, their long legs outpacing his own with ease. He's so Not with adrenaline, bro. He's so close to being dry and warm and safe. He slides to a stop on the damp stones in front of the door and reaches out for the handle. Inside the warm little house, the woman cooking dinner is startled by the sound of the door suddenly bursting open. Right. She turns to see an empty doorway. Oh, no. She steps no. out into the street, but it too is empty. Missing. Nothing God. present but the sound of the wind and the almost imperceptible sound of a single note being sung. A beautiful high-pitched note oh what happened to the boy who was once the shining star of the cathedral's choir yeah what, what happened to boys? <laughs> where did they all go perhaps they went to scp 2678 a mysterious spatial anomaly that is also a known as spatial a anomaly? city all of blood scp 2678 is an extra dimensional space that so far is known to be accessible through exactly one entrance okay or in the basement of the siena cathedral in siena italy Strangely, the extra-dimensional location behind the door is only able to be entered by individuals who hold what could be termed traditionally Catholic beliefs. Okay. Perhaps even stranger, though, is that when it was first discovered, the door to the space was barred 
and a metal placard had been placed next to it that read, SCP Foundation Department of Abnormalities. Hmm. This might not sound especially odd, but right. it came as quite a surprise to the agents investigating it, oh. as there is no record of their ever having they existed had no idea. a Department of Abnormalities within the SCP Foundation, other than SCP-3790, of course, which is another padlocked room bearing a similar sign, but that file has been locked by the O5 Council. Okay. We'll have to save our exploration of that for another time. Okay. <laughs> Back to SCP-2678. Individuals who have Catholic beliefs that enter the SCP-2678 space find that they emerge into a small, tent-like structure that appears to be a sort of forward operating base that has been built around the freestanding doorway. Okay. The outpost is abandoned, but there still remains a number of strange objects, including a biomedical laboratory-grade refrigerator containing numerous samples of blood and blood. bone. Various okay. types of audio recorders, ranging from old wax strip old models school, to magnetic man. tape machines, and a right. computer terminal which, when activated, requests Foundation credentials. However, huh. all attempts to access this computer have been met with failure, well, of course. as it has rejected all attempts for reasons of it's insufficient secure, man. clearance. Right. Also found inside the outpost was the, the score for a previously unknown it? choral prelude titled Sul Golgata, which, Sul when translated Golgata. from Italian, means on Golgotha, with Golgotha being the name of the hill that Jesus Christ was crucified on, according to the Bible. The last object found in the tent was a skeleton, though several bones were missing, including the hip bone and both forearms. Further examination of the skeleton revealed it to have belonged to a young male, though the exact cause of death was unable to be determined, nor was it clear whether the bones had been removed before or after the young man expired. I love Upon good exiting the outpost, visitors to SCP-2678 will find that they are on the outskirts of a gigantic city that is floating in the middle of a red-orange void. What the, the heck? The city is truly <laughs> massive, having what been measured heck? at being over 300 square kilometers in size, right. and consisting entirely of cathedrals, palaces, and churches, so all of which are in the all... Italian Gothic style of architecture. A wow. never-ending rain of a red liquid that was found to be human blood, blood falls on the city at all times and has stained wow. the buildings a deep red color. And while they appear at first glance to be made of marble, analysis has found that all the buildings bone. are actually constructed of human bone. Specifically, <sighs> bones belonging to human males aged 7 to 12. Oh my Later god. Later tests of the material found within the <laughs> forward outpost's <laughs> biomedical refrigerator revealed the stored blood and bones to be samples taken from throughout the city. Okay. No life has ever been observed within SCP-2678, though visitors have reported hearing a high-pitched discordant melody it seems to come from somewhere deep within the like maze of structures. Music. All attempts to record the sound have failed, as all audio equipment malfunctions when within the space. Weird. And playback of recordings results in them having only picked up the sound of the blood rain falling at a very high volume. Yeah. This explains the various types of audio equipment found in the forward outpost, which were likely used in unsuccessful attempts to record the music. Mm, they tried a different, attempts to a trace the source of the melody the through the labyrinth-like city will inevitably lead to the same building which is an exact replica of the same Siena Cathedral that the entrance to SCP-2678 is located in. It's kind of fascinating. Though it I too own. is made of bone and has been stained red from the falling blood. Right. And while the outside of the cathedral perfectly matches its real-world counterpart, yeah. the inside is a different story. Inside okay. the cathedral, one will find only organ? a single, large pipe organ. The pipe organ has had its longest pipes, the ones that produce the lowest notes, cut in half and the corresponding pedal boards torn out. Okay. Pressing a key on the organ will produce a note that mimics an adolescent male's voice, and each wow. key has its own unique voice. Just like with a normal pipe organ, a note can be sustained for as long as the key is pressed down, though after a time, the voice emanating from the organ will seem to take on a panic tone. Attempts to determine just how the organ produces the notes have been met with failure. Is it? As the organ does oh not have a wind box, God, bellows, it's making or blower the, of any kind, the, the, which would normally move air through the, the pipes. Boys the organ has thing. another effect within SCP-2678 besides just producing sounds, though, as whenever a note is played, the rain falling outside will transform into regular water. No matter how long the note is held, and the now regular clear rain falls, though, the buildings will never be washed and always continue to be stained red. Right. Tests were performed on the organ in order to determine just how long it could sustain a single note. Oh, and no. the C7 key was pressed for over 20 minutes, during which time the voice continued to sing out, becoming more and more stressed and panicked sounding as time went on. Finally, at the 23 minute mark, the key itself splintered into pieces, 
You killed him. The ability to produce that note. You killed him. Remains of the key were and also the blood came out. Oh my god. Test. Expedition sent into Yo. SCP-2678 have resulted in agents appearing to undergo a number of behavioral changes that, at present, are hypothesized to come as a result of hearing the organ music within. Okay. The psychological changes have included an increased appreciation for choir music, an ever stronger belief in structured religion, more trust hmm. in authority figures, less trust in those coming from a lower social or economic status, and a reluctance to report crimes committed by fellow members of the SCP Foundation. Weird. These changes appear to be permanent as well, as there wow. has been no evidence of them fading with time. Right. Unfortunately, little to no progress has been made in understanding the mysterious and unnerving space. Is nor that what the anomalous presence though? Of a Department of or is it just that, like, forward operating they're being affected, you know? And so, for the time like being, all further explorations within people. have been cancelled. Okay. The doorway in the basement of the Siena Cathedral has once again been barred, with the entrance hidden behind a bookshelf and the ease with which the extra-dimensional location can be contained by the Foundation has resulted in it being given the safe classification. Interesting. What do you think SCP-2678 actually is? Who built the strange city of blood and bone? That's... If it was built by a person at all? Let me know your theory in the comments, and then it's go gotta check be out an SCP-783. There was uh, a crooked uh, the, man for you know, another anomaly that involves a terrifying dimension easily accessed from our own. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications we so you sure don't will, miss a Dr. single Bob. anomaly as we delve further and further into the SCP Foundation's classified archives. This was really, this is really fascinating, y'all. I love good mysterious stuff like this. You know what I mean? It's not a big old demon. I like stuff like that too about the monsters and creatures naturally, but these are some of my favorite. I really like this one. Guys, subscribe to Dr. Bob. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lil Jin signing off. We'll see you next time.